Now, we're always very busy here in Hawaii, but you know what? No one has time to catch a cold or even worse, the flu. So Eric Anderson and John Schaefer from Castle Medical Center is here to tell us how we can survive this cold and flu season. You guys got to listen up because this is on you. Now, real quickly, if anybody doesn't know, I, I was joking about it, but Eric, what's the difference between the, the, the flu and how is it different from the common cold? Great question. Mm -hmm. So the flu and the common cold share a lot of similar symptoms. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is that the flu tends to be much more intense and mm -hmm. severe in its presentation. Um, the um, body aches, really painful, fever has a rapid onset. Um, you have a, a real weakness, uh -huh. uh, lack of energy. And, and I've always flu. wanted to know, in a, in a myth I've always heard mm -hmm. my mom say, oh, if you have body aches, that's the flu. And is that the real kind of, is that I, I think too general to say? Uh, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, without um, definitive testing, the clinical presentation is hard to differentiate for, in some instances. Interesting. Um, uh, in general, though, cold, stuffy nose, runny nose, and uh, no real major complications health Interesting. Wise. And when you talk about complications, mm -hmm. how dangerous is the flu? Uh, I mean, when someone get it, uh, when, I mean, we want to talk about that first. Mm -hmm. How dangerous is the flu, especially for people of different age ranges? Yeah, the, the flu uh, can be potentially very uh, dangerous, mm -hmm. to, especially to certain populations. The young, the old, uh, people with compromised immune systems, uh, people with, with chronic health conditions are all more of the at-risk population that can um, contract uh, pneumonia is, yeah. is pretty much the one of the bigger uh, and that, complications. And that is terrible, and that can exactly. get worse right there. Right. Right. And now i got to ask, though, when should someone get vaccinated? And, and, and more importantly, how easy is it to get the flu vaccine? Um, People, everybody should be vaccinated. You're hearing, you're listening, everybody. I mean, yeah. really, there's no excuse, right? Not, not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, everyone benefits, uh, even the the people that aren't at risk. Mm -hmm. uh, you provide a certain degree of protection for the at risk population by getting vaccinated. You know, I love how you say that because sometimes people are like, oh, I'm not going to get the flu. It's not just me, but we're all in this together. Correct. Because it's something that can spread yeah. so quickly, and if it yeah. hits Hawaii, it can hit us hard. Yeah. Now, John, I got to ask, why is the flu vaccine? And it, this was funny. We, we talk about this every year. Why mm -hmm. do we have to get it every year? Whereas we're talking like my hep A thing, I can just get it once and that's my lifetime. Why is the flu vaccine every year? Right. Uh, the main reason is the flu virus is a pretty incredible virus. Uh, it has the ability to adapt and change every year. Uh, along with that, there's multiple types of flu virus. Uh, so you hear like H1N1 and H3N2. Um, if you look at like H1N1 back in 2009, you know, we had our hospitals filling up yes. with illnesses yeah, there. If you look back all the way in, two, uh, in 1918, uh, they had um, 500 million people pass away and this from is the same The H1 Spanish flu, right? This is right. what we hear that we always right. said, and we don't want that ever to happen exactly. again. So when we talk about the vaccine, uh, again, it's effective, right? I mean, this is something mm. that is a way to stop. How effective is the vaccine? Uh, the the vaccine is actually very effective. Uh, the degree that it's effective varies from year to year. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, it's, it's kind of like wearing a seatbelt. Um, there's, there's benefits to wearing a seatbelt. There's no guarantee, but it provides that added safety and, and uh, protection. I love the way you say that because seriously, I mean, it, if I was going to play a game or if I was going into battle, I would want all my tools. I would want everything with me. And this flu vaccine is probably one of the best tools that we can have to fight it. Now, the great thing about you guys at Castle Medical Center, and this was a great thing, you guys have the highest percentage of associates vaccinated against the flu in the entire state? We do. We did. All yeah. right, that, that's amazing. I mean, that's something to be proud of, but we were kind of chatting. That's also very important for you guys to be able to give health care to, to all of us, right, still? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, what, yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Oh, yeah. we, Go ahead. I'll tell you. Yeah, uh, I think the main focus with it was um, we provided the vaccine to as many associates as, as we could, and uh, uh, so many people responded, and it really showed that our community um, is being cared for from our employees. It's kind of a, a pride moment for yeah. us that uh, so many of them did accept it and say, you know, we want to take that extra step to help our community. Well, because honestly, you are the people that we turn to. When when the flu comes or the cold season comes, you are the guys that will take care of us. So to know that you're going to be safe and you're going to be well really gives us the peace of mind. But but please, you, if you're watching this and you're like on the fence, oh, I shouldn't get the flu vaccine. No, 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 no. Get to our website. We're going to have information to their website. This is something that affects all of us here in Hawaii. And I don't want to get sick. You don't want to get sick. And this is a way to keep us from getting sick. You guys, thank you so, so Thanks much. For having Again, us. No, you guys are so great at Castle. And I just want to get the flu shot please <laughs> again we want to get everybody out there and just knock this flu and cold season right on its okole.